You know, I was just thinking this past week of the level of deception that is going on within this nation. You know, we always make light of Jim Jones and people had drank the Kool-Aid and the 900 and something people that lost their lives due to deception. And we didn't think that something on that massive scale could ever happen again, but it has. And it has happened on a scale 20 times more or beyond that because you have millions of people that are deceived within the evangelical realm. And many Christians have latched on to lies from the pits of hell and they are going down all types of various roads of no return. And one in specific is this young self-appointed uh, pastor, Marcus Rogers. You know, he had made a video the other day where he's talking about he doesn't feel well. Something must be in the air. He's done this before. And that, and for those of you that don't know, with the hurricanes and stuff like that, there's a, there was a conspiracy going around amongst these people, these false teachers and self-appointed prophets, that the Democrats are manipulating the weather. Somehow they're manipulating the weather uh, uh, and, and along with the demonic, using demonic uh, uh, more so forces to manipulate it. In some cases, what they're talking. But it's just the bottom line that they're saying that Democrats, that human beings are have the ability to manipulate the weather. And I saw some people that were highly out, upset outside of the country. Uh, and, and some of the Caribbean and places like that where they were highly upset for someone to voice that, to say, you know, something, uh, uh, you know, to talk about it in such a way. And, and, and what it shows is it shows no it shows no di uh, regard for human life because people have lost their lives and people have lost everything. It shows no respect for humanity. It just shows. I mean, it's just it's really unbelievable. How do you get to that point? How do you get to the point where you believe some of the more craziest things? I mean, people that would talk like this. I mean, I'm, I, I mean, I can, I know, but I mean, I would say 25, 30 years ago, people that talk like this. I mean, there'll be a chance that the guys from the insane asylum will come pick you up. Put the straight jacket on you and carry you up. What we have, where the, our psychiatric ward is, is the hilltop. Many of these people need mental health uh, 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 intervention. A whole lot of them are, and I, I need, a whole lot of them do. And I believe that you know, if this election don't go the way that they want it to, then they're going to need it even more. Because many of these people. They're under some type of demonic uh, uh, and strong delusion and, and demonic influence because they're, they're just gone in that way. But then some of these people have mental health issues that need to be dealt with and they need to see a mental health specialist, a psychiatrist, uh, 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 you know, somebody special psychologist, somebody that specializes in things that, that are just going on within their brain because they're not right. And Marcus Rogers is not right. I don't know why people continue to stand by this man that he seems like he's on this great fire from the Lord. But at the same time, this man is one of the more highly deceived people in the young hemisphere out here, out there. And he wants to be famous so bad. He wants to be a part of the big wigs so bad. And here he's hanging out with he's hung hung out with Troy Black, another self-appointed prophet that doesn't work or anything and comes up with lies daily on the Lord. He asked for $30,000 to make a Trump propaganda film to try to somehow give this great information about Trump basically being anointed and called by God to save the nation. And somehow, you know, you got to see him in this type of light and you got to vote for him because of this way. And Marcus Rogers was part of the film. He was in the film. He's in there. Did he get part? Did Troy kick him out a few thousand bucks? Here, man, come on in here and, and whatever. Because why would you 
set with someone like that. If you so much on fire for the Lord, which tells me, as we always say, birds of a feather flock together. That tells you right there that he, he's gone. He has no discernment. He's lost. For you to sit down on camera with another false teacher that lies on the Lord daily. Somebody, and, and Marcus believes in conspiracies in the deep state and all of this wow conspiracies. And he's sitting there pushing this. The Democrats were manipulated the weather. Kamala's a witch. Democrats are, Democrats are witches and all of this talking crazy crap and demons and all of this labeling people like that, which tells me about Troy, that Troy, if he believes in Marcus and Marcus believes in such wacky conspiracy theories, it means it that he's just like him as well because he's told on himself several times. Troy tries to be, Troy is a very slick false teacher. He comes across kind, nice, speaks the word really well at times. But you got to, I mean, you got to put two and two together with these folks and use discernment. Any seasoned believer that has a strong foundation in the faith should be able to recognize these frauds wherever you, when you come across them. And it don't, it's, you shouldn't, you know, and the people's got these itching ears so bad. And they will believe that Troy is this prophet. Brandon Biggs is a prophet. Giving more time. Giving more time. Oh, yep. Oh, the clock. A clock that is going backwards in time. Oh, Ramafa. Brokem. Brokem. Broken. All of these people. But then they'll tell you. Some of these wild things that if anybody would open their Bible and look in the scriptures and, and say, wait a minute, that's not how that go. That's not what that means. You got to know the historical context of the scriptures. You got to know the what, when, why, who, what, what did this happen? Where, why was that happening at this time? What well, you got to know the whole context. Don't allow these people to take the scriptures and manipulate it and twist it and confuse you. Because what they're taking advantage of is a whole lot of people that don't study. They're taking advantage of a whole lot of babes in Christ, people that are new to the faith. That's what they're doing. My, one of my favorite pastors that passed away uh, uh, several back in 17 there, you know, he, he, he was a theologian. I mean, a big on education within the church. And he would always talk about that people that's perished because of a lack of knowledge that they refused to study. And being that it was a black church at the time, uh, what we were part of, he would always say, Negroes are lazy and refuse to study. And you've got to stand on the word of God so that you're not tossed to and fro and, and, and be running here and running there and listening to this and listening to that and all these wild things. So we are now in a time where that has blown up because of this social media age like never before. And people will think that a man that telling you something silly like that, telling you that they're putting stuff in the air, uh, uh, that it's the Democrats doing it on purpose to make me sick when it's fall, it's sick season. You know, we, the, you said you just get sick. Maybe you ain't taking your vitamins. Mr. Rogers and those are, and his subscribers, everyone's, oh, I'm sick. I, I feel like this. And maybe you need to make sure you're getting your proper vitamin C in your health and wash your hands. How about that? And, 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 and get yourself right. Maybe it's just that. Why does it have to be a particular party or, 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 or some silly reason? But to say something like that, it just shows the scale, the massive scale that these people how deceived they are in a massive scale, unfortunately, of people that are being led to the slaughter. Because you think that this is sustainable, following these types of people, and you think God ain't going to deal with you? You think that it's sustainable, that you can continue to stand by these type of people after you've been warned, and it's sustainable, and the Lord ain't going to deal with you? The Lord's not going to let him or anybody else and the followers that refuse to repent get away with this. 
This is a, you're, you're leading souls to destruction and the Lord's going to deal with it. And on this channel, we're going to shine the light and continue to warn people. Take the devil head on. And what else do we do? Punch them right in between the chops. Evangelists for God's the channel. We'll continue to go forward, march forward, stand firm. Give God the glory. Until the next video, my friends, take care. God bless.